Folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. And in my ever continuing quest to help you improve your own video making, in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to do very basic video intro designs for your YouTube videos using this application, which would produce something that looked a little like this. Now, as soon as I made this video, I got a ton of comments about how you actually put these intros and outros into a video that you've made. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to use iMovie since most of you have been asking me the question based on the iMovie application. So we'll load it up and we'll bring in our three videos. That's going to be an intro made with the app, an outro made with the app, and the main bulk of the screen recording. So we'll select the videos, create movie, and that should put them in a timeline, not necessarily in the right order. The current situation we have is the bulk of the video is at the end, the intro is next, and then the outro is at the beginning. So obviously we have to sort all that out, but that's very easily done by simply long pressing on any part of a video that picks it up, and then you can drag it to another part of the timeline. So all I've done there is put the outro at the end of the video and it just so happens that everything's now neatly arranged so we have the intro at the beginning and the outro and the middle here and the outro at the end. So that's how you put the three videos together. Now remember if you're doing a portrait screen recording you have to be aware that it's going to cut off the top and the bottom unless you tap on the video timeline you'll see a yellow box surround the video then you can tap on the magnifying glass and that allows you to pinch to zoom to put your video back into portrait so that it's not going to kill the top and bottom of it. Now once you've sorted out your arrangement and made sure that it's not cutting off the top and bottom of the video, you still may need to trim the video a little bit. For example here we have an air show that's just kicking off and you might not want it to be displayed in your video. To fix that, tap on the video again to get the yellow box and then you can just drag it in so that it trims off the beginning and you start with whatever screen you want. Say for example let's get the Clash Royale menu screen here and there you are, job done. You might want to do the same thing at the end of a video, just when you're going back to Airshow, that it might also be cutting off the end. So just again, trim it a little bit so you have the perfect video. Once you've done everything you need to do, tap on the Done button in the top. Then tap on the Share button to export the video out of iMovie onto your photo gallery. And then it should look something like this. Here's a completed video, let's give that a play. So we have the introduction coming in first, once that's completed it should go into the main bulk of the video and at the end you'll see the outro. And that's pretty much a very quick tutorial on how to put your videos together, the intro, the middle and the end on iMovies. If you've got any more questions do pop them in the comments below and I'll try and help you. Otherwise like the video if you enjoyed it, if you want me to do more tutorials like this then let me know. Otherwise enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.